Hello everyone. Today we will solve a numerical on analysis of distribution network or analysis of pipe network. Already we have discussed the theory part in the last class. So today we will solve a problem. By solving that problem automatically the theory part will be clear to you. So in the question it is given that uh, determine the distribution of flow in the pipe networks shown below the network is given below the head loss may be assumed as k multiplied by q to the power n okay n and x both are same in this question n is mentioned and the th in the theory it was x the flow is turbulent and pipes are rough the value of k for each pipe is indicated in the figure use hardy cross method okay so the network is given in this network we have uh, a kind of rhombus pattern pipe network having two triangle connected back to back and uh, 50 unit of uh, water is entering into the loop similarly from the top again 50 unit of water is entering and from the bottom 25 is going out and from the right side 75 is going out so in this network the incoming flow or uh, flow at the inlet is equal to 50 plus 50 100 and outgoing flow equal to 25 plus 75 100 so incoming flow equal to outgoing flow so the network is good or network is correct network also the k values for each and every pipe that is 1 2 3 4 5 5 pipes are given here for only the loops not the uh, initial incoming pipes okay so in the loop one two three four five number of pipes is connected and k values are given so let us solve first of all the magnitudes as well as the directions of the pipe possible flow in the pipe uh, pipes uh, in uh, are assumed keeping in consideration the uh, law of continuity at each junction the assumed flows are shown here you can see the uh, pipe network 50 is coming from the left side and 50 is coming from the top 25 and 75 is going out from the bottom and the right side so in e uh, the there are five number of pipes uh, that is the two triangles connected back to back okay so you can also give some name to the pipes that is a b c d naming so you have the pipe name a b then b d then b c c d and d a five number of pipes so we can assume any kind of flow 50 is coming 50 is distributed in two pipes okay i have assumed 25 25 you can assume 30 20 you can assume 40 10 you can assume 45 5 anything so basically as the k values are same k equal to 2 and k equal to 2 so i have assumed 25 25 similarly again in the uh, joint b you can see from pipe ab 25 is coming and from the outside that is incoming flow is 50 so at joint b incoming is 50 plus 25 75 and in uh, we have uh, we have to distribute this 75 amount of discharge into two pipes pipe bc and pipe bd so depending on the k values as the k value for pipe bc is higher than the pipe bd so i have just assumed the in pipe bc it is 50 and in pipe uh, bd it is 25 so see the junction c at junction c or point c uh, from bc pipe 50 amount of uh, water is coming and 75 is going out the remaining 50 incoming will be uh, compensated through the pipe dc in the direction d to c also at junction d you can see 25 is coming similarly 20, 25 is coming from a to d 25 is coming from b to d and 25 is going in the uh, outlet so the remaining portion 25 will be compensated in the pipe dc so in this manner first of all you have to assume the pipe flows and also you have to indicate the direction of the flow basically uh, why to indicate the direction depending on the direction the positive flow and negative flow will be taken okay now also in the question it is given that the head loss is equal to k into q to the power n that is we can write hl equal to k into q to the power 2 where n is equal to 2 because we can use the Manning's formula or Darcy-Wiesbeck formula for the head loss calculation okay 
so h will equal to k into q to the power 2 has been taken that is in place of n you have we have taken n equal to 2 and k values are all given so we have to calculate the hl value assuming the flow values through each and every pipe so for the first rail we have two loops one loop is a b d a and second loop is b c d b okay for first loop we will analyze the pipes for first loop a b d a three pipes are connected a to b a b b to d b d and d to a d a okay always the direction matters always so first of all you can uh, create a table uh, indicating the headings that is pipe assume flow k value hl and the mod value of hl by qa and corrected flow value after first trial so for first pipe a b what was the assume flow we have taken 25 and we are taking the pipe a b that means the direction is from a to b that's why in the assume flow column i have written 25 only not negative 25 because in the direction of a b we have assumed 25 and also the pipe i have written a b 25 similarly for b d the direction is from b to d in the network or in the diagram so that will be positive 25 now in case of d a we have assumed the flow in the pipe a d in the direction of a to d equal to 25 so in the direction of d to a it will be negative 25 always the direction matters okay now the third column k value k value given 2 1 and 2 you can see the question okay now you have to calculate the hl value hl equal to k into q a to the power 2 in case of calculation of hl don't take this negative multiplied by negative equal to positive this negative is not directly related to the value it is related to the direction so head loss if head loss is uh, say for example you have left side you have right side if head loss is from the left to right positive then head loss from right to left will be negative as simple as that head loss from left to right if it is positive then from right to left it will be negative similarly here we have to indicate the head loss values with their positive or negative side do not take uh, you can say sir q value is given for pipe d a equal to minus 25 and also in the formula q a to the power 2 so minus 25 multiplied minus 25 we are getting positive value not like that this minus is not related to the value it is related to the direction because head loss has a direction it is depends on the gradient so from left to right if it is positive then from right to left it will be negative similarly we have we have to indicate the uh, negative or positive sign in head loss column so you can calculate uh, using k value and qa value the head losses similarly hl by qa you can calculate then ultimately mod value means only the absolute value that is positive value if it is coming minus 50 or minus 25 or minus 50 anything you have to take the only positive values okay now summation of hl values we have the formula that is uh, in case of delta we require the summation of hl value you can calculate the summation of hl value it will be equal to two, uh, 1250 plus 625 minus 1250 ultimately it is coming as 625 similarly for summation of hl by qi equal to 125 so again you see the theory that is delta there is a correction formula is equal to negative of summation hl divided by x multiplied by summation of hl by qa in case of uh, our question x r n both are same so in place of summation of hl that is head loss summations we have to uh, write the value that is 625 in place of hl by qa summation we have to write the 125 so ultimately delta 1 that is correction for first trial for first loop equal to minus 2.5 just for uh, you have to apply this correction delta 1 value to each and every pipe apply this minus 2.5 correction to pipe a b assume flow was 25 apply correction minus 2.5 ultimately you will get positive 22.5 similarly for the pipe d a leave the pipe b d we will come to the correction applied to pipe b d later calculate only for a b and d a for AB 25 minus 2.5 it is 22.5 and for DA it is 
minus 25 minus 2.5 ultimately 27.5 now uh, leave the pipe bd okay bd is a common pipe we we'll have to apply some extra correction to the common pipe only first of all you have to calculate the single pipes a b and t a okay that is fine now come to the next loop loop b c d b in the next page again you have to make the table uh, in b c d b loop you have three pipes again b c c d and d b where d b is the common pipe okay now again the assume flow in b c in the direction of b to c you have assume 50 so positive 50 value now in case of uh, c d pipe the direction of of flow you have assumed from D to C but in case of BCDB in the clockwise direction always you have to take the pipes so in the clockwise direction you are taking the pipe as CD okay so the value will be flow value will be negative 25 similarly in DB pipe the flow value direction is from B to D that's why in DB that will be minus 25 okay so again the k value you have to write 4 3 and 1 corresponding values similarly hl value you have to calculate indicating the negative or positive sign then again uh, hl by qa for each and every pipe okay now again you have to calculate the summation of hl values it will come equal to 10000 minus 1875 minus 625 ultimately you will get 7500 value and summation of hl by qa equal to 300 so the correction delta 1 dash that is correction for first trial for second loop that's why delta 1 in the first loop and delta 1 dash for second loop okay then the correction value we are getting minus 12.5 now this correction value to be applied to the single pipes that is the single pipe means bc pipe what was the assume flow 50 minus 12.5 plus 50 will give you 37.5 that is indicated in the corrected flow similarly for pipe cd the assumed flow value was minus 25 correction applied 12.5 negative so ultimately we are getting the corrected flow as minus 37.5 now 37.5 now come to the common pipe bd in loop 1 and db in loop 2 see one thing it is written in the red mark uh, with a uh, star mark uh, red color in star mark that is corrected flow in common pipe in case of bd or db that will be whatever the assumed flow plus delta 1 plus delta 1 dash in case of bd the assumed flow was positive 25 plus delta 1 plus delta 1 dash similarly for db the assumed flow was minus 25 plus delta 1 plus delta 1 dash okay so first of all you have to see what is the correction for loop 1 and loop 2 for both the pipes delta 1 for pipe bd was minus 2.5 and delta 1 dash 5 for pipe db is equal to minus 12.5 so if delta 1 for pipe bd is minus 2.5 then delta 1 for pipe db will be just opposite of two, uh, minus 2.5 that is plus 2.5 similarly if delta 1 dash for pipe bd equal to minus 12.5 then delta 1 dash for pipe bd will be plus 12.5 whatever correction you are taking in which direction it has come from the calculation if you are taking the reverse direction just you have to take the reverse sign delta 1 for bd equal to minus 2.5 delta 1 for db equal to plus 2.5 similarly delta 1 dash for db equal to minus 2.12.5 delta 1 dash for bd equal to plus 12.5 so the correction to be applied for common pipe bd and db will include the delta 1 plus delta 1 dash so corrected flow in bd pipe First of all the BD pipe, assume flow in BD pipe in the direction from B to D it was 25 correction 1 that is delta 1 in the direction of B to D it is minus 2.5 and correction delta 1 dash in the direction of B to D in pipe BD it is plus 12.5 so ultimately 25 minus 2.5 plus 12.5 it is coming 35 similarly correction apply correction to be applied in db pipe equal to first of all the assume flow that is negative 25 plus delta 1 for db delta 1 for db is equal to plus 2.5 
so here it will be plus 2.5 plus delta 1 dash for db delta 1 dash for db is equal to minus 12.5 so minus 25 plus 2.5 minus 12.5 equal to minus 35 so ultimately you can see both the values are same but the sign is opposite because in case of bd if the sign is positive then in case of db it will be negative so your calculation is right then by calculating this one you can show this part in your exam copy otherwise you can make a rough and you can directly write down that delta 1 for coming uh, delta 1 from the calculation for first loop is this one and delta 1 dash for calculation in uh, loop 2 is this one so we have to apply this correction to these common pipes you can directly write or you can show this portion in your exam copy anything okay so ultimately the corrected flow in bd is equal to 35 i have written this one in red color in loop 1 and corrected value for db is minus 35 i have written in uh, the value in red color in the loop 2 okay this is the process by which we have to first of all assume some flow then you have to apply some uh, analysis process then you have to calculate the correction we have to apply the correction we have to calculate the corrected flow this is trial one in case of trial one we are getting the correction was too much high that is in case of uh, correction one it is one digit and in case of correction two it is two digit so again we have to go we have to go for the second trial okay similarly in the second trial you can easily do that you can uh, it will be good if you do not see the second trial calculation you can do on your own and then you can match the second trial calculation with the given calculation though i have, i will tell you the second calculation that is second trial first of all in case of second trial again you have to make the table for loop one that is loop a b d a again the pipes are same a b b d d a now in case of assume flow here the assume flow will be the corrected flow in the previous trial corrected flow in the previous trial in pipe a b b d and d a was plus 22.5 then plus 35.0 then minus 27.5 so whatever assume flow will be in the next trial that will be equal to the corrected flow in the previous trial okay again the k values to be written hl values to be calculated hl by qa with mod value to be calculated then you can directly calculate the delta 2 value i have not shown here the delta 2 formula and just i have written uh, delta 2 equal to minus 2.7 in red color similarly for loop bcdb bc pipe cd pipe and db pipe again the assume flows are equal to the corrected flow in the previous trial there is first trial similarly 37.5 negative 37.5 negative 35 okay again the k values 431 calculate the hl value calculate hl by qa again calculate delta 2 dash that is correction in second trial for second loop it is coming as minus 0 0.3 so you can see uh, the correction reduces to um, very much extent okay so you can uh, say that only two trials are needed for this question for any other question it may require four or five numbers of trial then after applying the correction values that is in case of loop abda the correction was minus 2.7 so for pipe ab 22.5 was assumed flow minus 2.7 it will give you 19.8 similarly for da third pipe minus 27.5 minus 2.7 it will give you minus 30.2 leave the bd pipe common pipe you have to leave it next come to the second loop that is uh, app, uh, correction to be applied is minus 0 0.3 for bc pipe assume flow was 37.5 minus 0 0.3 will give you 37.2 similarly for cd minus 37.5 minus 0 0.3 will give you minus 37.8 now in case of db uh, db in loop 2 and bd in loop 1 both are common pipes so you have to again uh, calculate the delta 2 delta 2 value okay for bd pipe and db pipe and delta 2 dash value for db pipe and bd pipe ultimately one value will be negative one value will be positive you have to apply the correction and you can get the 
common pipe corrected value in case of loop ABDA as 32.6 positive and loop DB 32.6 negative okay so ultimately you are getting all the values uh, after the trial to and you have to indicate this corrected values uh, producing a network diagram similar to the given one so again 50 incoming plus 50 incoming equal to 25 outgoing and 75 outgoing but between this loop all the values are divided into five pipes you have to just show these values in this network diagram this is all about the numerical very easy just think very carefully okay thank you